And speaking of artists, a prolific but painfully shy Guernsey artist has finally had his life's work go on display. Ken Hill's huge collection of paintings celebrates the island's culture. Well, now the island's celebrating him. But as Mike Wilkins reports, although Ken passed away two years ago, his family are determined that his legacy lives on. Among the dozens of paintings hanging at the art festival, there's a small collection with a story to tell. These were painted by Ken Hill, a shy man who never felt comfortable exhibiting his work. Well, today his art is on display as the festival begins. But Ken won't be here. He died two years ago, and today his son told me that his father did his best to reflect Guernsey's heritage. He was upset that the language was dying, the culture was dying, and he, a lot of his paintings he tries to preserve traditional Guernsey things. Um, there's one painting behind me. Um, this one here with the mill. I don't know if the camera can see it, but the mill. Um, that was restored. So anything like that, traditional Guernsey people in costume, people shrimping, ormering, um, Guernsey fishermen, he tried to capture all those, and uh, a lot of people got those in their homes around Guernsey. Well, Ken was the first islander to ever be accepted at the prestigious Royal Academy in London, and this is just a glimpse of his life's work. Now, I've been told, and I've had a look, but I'm not particularly good at this, that there are hidden images in some of his paintings, so perhaps you'll have better luck if you come down to the Arts Festival. And anyone who wants to know more about Ken's life and work is welcome to go along to a lecture at the Candy Museum on Saturday the 8th of August. Mike Wilkins, BBC Channel Islands News, Guernsey.